A number of brokers still haven't received and delivered Ape shares, and I think a number of brokers that have delivered your Ape have only delivered IOUs and not real Ape shares. To me, this proves that we are right. The AMC float has been sold multiple times over, and the AMC will squeeze. So stay tuned, and let's make some money. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, Rocket Astronaut tweeted saying brokers are saying they would have delivered Ape already, but they haven't received those shares yet. And that tells him that's because there wasn't enough shares to go around. Why else? I've seen a number of different screenshots with live chats from Canadian brokers, UK brokers, European brokers, and a number of different US brokers like Webull, Robinhood, Fidelity, Cash App, Stake, and many others saying they would have delivered their Ape shares, but they haven't even received them yet. I have seen a few reports of some users from Webull and Fidelity starting to receive their shares, but I've also seen a number of users that have, say, a thousand AMC shares that have only received 100 or 200 Ape shares, not the full amount. A number of different brokers like RBC in Canada, practically all of the UK brokers and the European brokers are expecting to receive their Ape on the 24th of August, some the 26th, 28th, and maybe even later. The latest I've seen is up to 10 business days. As Rocket Astronaut said, that's because there likely isn't enough Ape shares to go around because the float of AMC has been sold multiple times over. I don't think it's a bad thing if you haven't yet received your Ape, but I'll explain that later in the video. Now, Spence has also tweeted saying multiple apes in my YouTube live stream right now are saying that public gave them fractional shares of ape. And he said, to my understanding, this shouldn't have even been possible. He said, I'm wondering if brokers put shares into their customers' accounts a little too early before they'd even received them from computer share, shares they don't actually own. Now, first off, this idea of IOUs has actually been confirmed here by TD Ameritrade. He said, while we can't speak to the specific practices of other firms, some firms may decide to post shares to client accounts before they receive the actual shares. We do not. There's a number of rumors that Charles Schwab on Friday was actually delivering IOUs to customer accounts because they hadn't even received the shares yet from computer share. This could potentially be the case with a number of different brokers that haven't actually received those shares from computer share. They've just been delivering IOUs to customer accounts. I think this is likely another tactic being used by the shorts to try and avoid being caught for creating billions of synthetic shares. There's obviously only 516 million ape shares to go around, but there's potentially 2 billion, 5 billion, maybe even 20 billion AMC shares that have been sold. And therefore, many of these brokers are having to deliver IOUs to their customers like you and I. Many of these brokers are putting shares into your account, even though they haven't yet received them from computer share. Some brokers that obviously can't give out IOUs, maybe the laws in the UK and Europe prevent it. These are the brokers that are having to go into the market and buy Ape shares, but they need at least a few days, if not up to 10 business days. Again, it also seems sketchy that public has been delivering fractional shares because Adam Aaron himself said they will not be delivering any fractional Apes. From the AMC q and it says some investors own an amount of common stock that includes a fraction of a share of common stock. AMC will not deliver any fractional ape shares. It said if you hold shares of common stock directly in the DRS system of computer share, you will receive apes for the whole number of shares you own, plus any fractional shares of common stock or AMC stock will receive cash in lieu of a fractional ape share. Saying hypothetically, for example, if you own 43.4 shares of AMC, you'd receive 43 apes and cash for the 0.4 shares. So therefore, for public to be delivering fractional ape shares sounds kind of unusual because AMC wasn't issuing fractional apes. Again, it also seems to support the fact that many brokers, maybe like public, have just been delivering IOUs and not the real shares. Going back to what Rocket Astronaut said, many of these brokers are likely delivering IOUs, not the real shares, because they haven't received their real shares yet, because there's not enough to go around. And guys, if you haven't already, be sure to sign up to Moomoo right now using the link in the description below. You can currently get 10 free stocks worth up to a whopping total of $25,000.
Moomoo is very easy to use. It's incredibly customizable. They've got tons of technical indicators and advanced charting tools. Moomoo have also disclosed from their latest customer agreement that they do not benefit from your order flow and they do not sell your order flow either. And therefore Moomoo is brilliant for buying those AMC and GameStop shares. But as Ragnar Eriksson tweeted, he said, am I the only ape hoping I don't see my ape shares on Monday morning? He said some people are seeing them, but some aren't, and some are getting partials. And this is exactly what I expected. If AMC retail investors aren't receiving their ape dividend, this just proves the fact that actually the AMC flow is indeed oversold. We are right, and there is indeed billions of synthetic shares. I think overall, even though it's likely we have received IOUs and not real ape shares yet, I don't think this is anything to worry about. Regardless of whether you have an IOU or a real share or a synthetic share, you can still sell that share in your trading platform and you will still receive the cash now or during the squeeze. If anything, receiving an IOU or a synthetic share is a good thing because it just proves the existence of these so-called synthetic shares and proves the existence that the AMC float is indeed oversold. And obviously, the more these brokers, trading platforms and market makers struggle, it actually puts them in a worse position when shorting AMC. Fidelity tweeted saying, thanks for reaching out. If a person was short one share of AMC on the X dividend date, they would be short one share of AMC and one share of Ape on August 23rd. So actually this AMC Ape dividend causes these shorts to be in an even worse position when shorting AMC. Overnight, while the value of their short position has stayed the same, the number of shares they're actually shorting has effectively doubled. If a fund is shorting 1 million shares of AMC, they're now shorting 2 million shares in total, a million shares of AMC and a million shares of Ape. And that means that if they want to close out of their short position, not only do they have to buy back a million shares of AMC, but they also have to locate and buy back a million shares of Ape as well. So it means these shorts are going to struggle more and more to actually close out of their short positions because they now have to buy back double the amount of shares. As Mum Talk stock tweeted, she said, OK, my brain might be getting this. If shorts are suddenly exposed to double the short positions once Ape goes live, that means they're stuck in twice as much mess as they were before. They effectively have to pay double the cost of borrow fee, they have to pay double the NSCC fail to deliver fees, and when they want to close out of their short positions, they have to locate and buy back double the amount of shares. Now obviously I've said in multiple videos, if you don't receive your Ape shares today, we should be contacting the AMC Investor Relations Department, the DTCC, potentially the SEC and Computer Share as well. Here I have the phone numbers for the SEC and for the DTCC, the email and phone number for AMC's Investor Relations Department and also a direct line to Gary Gensler as well. For anyone that wants to file a complaint or wants to call up the AMC Investor Relations Department, here is the number and the email so we can actually take action. Now I also wanted to quickly touch on and talk about the AMC price as I've seen a number of people panicking in the comments. Benzinga released this article saying AMC shares fall 33% in the pre-market after the Cineworld confirms their possible bankruptcy filing. CNBC is also saying that AMC has fallen 33% on basically no news. But as Tara tweeted, she said, hey Benzinga, are you really this desperate? AMC issued a split or dividend called Ape today, so technically the stock is actually up 17%. Edward has also worked out all of the individual numbers involved and AMC is actually up 19.27% since the split occurred. AMC last Friday closed at $18.02 and therefore this morning it should have opened up at $9.01 and AMC should have been down 50% on the day. As I've covered in previous videos, Ape will be worth the same as AMC. Therefore, this morning, AMC should have opened at $9.01, and Ape should have also been valued at $9.01 as well. But AMC has already ran from $9.01 up to around $12 so far. Therefore, AMC is already up 19% on the day. I've also covered in previous videos that if AMC falls below $10 per share, these hedge funds have to stump up way more collateral to meet their margin requirements because the AMC stock would receive a haircut as it's valued below $10 per share. 
Again, if it falls below seven, it receives a larger haircut, aka more collateral. And if it falls below $5, it receives an even larger haircut, aka even more collateral. Therefore, these hedge funds obviously couldn't allow AMC to stay at $9.01, and therefore practically instantaneously pushed it back up to $12 flat. So therefore, even though you see AMC down 33% so far in the pre-market, actually AMC is up nearly 20% on the day, and you will also be receiving your ape shares as well. But guys, be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as always, guys, be sure to ding that notification bell, because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.